Hey guys, this is Kayla with Becky's Graphic Design in Nashville, Tennessee, and today I'm going to be taking you through the process of how to fix your Kindle Create files if it becomes uneditable. So here is a file that I've been working on for a long time. We've done many revisions on this, and I just recently ran into this problem where when I go to generate the KPF file, I'm going to go ahead and save that here. I'll just call it test for now. I'm going to save this and let it generate it. When I go to reopen this file, I'm going to get an error where all the pages will be blank. All right, so here's the KPF. This is the file that you would upload um, to Amazon. Now, say something comes up and I need to edit this file. I'm going to go in here and I'm going to open up this KCB file, which is the editable, the editable file. Okay, so I closed Candle Create. Now, when I go to reopen this KCB file, this is supposed to be the editable file. I'm going to open that. And now we should be seeing the error with the blank pages. So here it is. This is the error that occurs. None of the pages show up. Uh, the file seems to be blank. The reason that occurs is because when I created this file originally, I told Kindle Create to preserve the links in it. What happens when some of those links are invalid, causes an error, which does not allow for the file to open up properly anymore in the editable stage. So I found one way to get around this. What we're going to do is we are going to go to our KPF file. So this is, this is the file here that we would upload to Amazon. What I'm going to do is make a copy of it. And I'm going to change the file name to a zip folder. So I'm simply going to backspace KPF and I'm going to type zip into here. It's going to tell you, it's going to give you this error here about the uh, file becoming unstable. That's okay. We're going to click yes. So now you want a file that looks like this that says zip at the end of it. Next, I'm going to right click on this and I'm going to tell my file explorer to extract all. You can use any sort of zip program for this. I'm just going to use the default one that comes with Windows. I'm going to tell it to extract all and I'm just going to extract it to the same folder here. Okay, now we are inside of that extracted zip folder. What has happened now is it's basically created a copy of your files that have never been edited before. So now when I go to open up this KCB file, the editable Kindle Create file, I'm going to open that up now, and our pages should now be editable and reappeared. Yep, here we are. So this file has still retained um, the table of contents pages on the sidebar over here. Um, and it actually did retain those preserved links that I asked for it to do as well, as we can see here by the orange underlining. Um, now, if I go to save and package this file to a KPF, and then close it, I probably will have to do the same thing all over again and uh, turn it into a zip folder and then extract it in order to edit again because I will be getting the same error with um, the preserved links. But at least there's a workaround and you don't have to go through and re-edit this whole big file here. So I have about 300 pages in this uh, file here. So with a slight workaround, I'd rather do that than re-edit the whole 300 pages over and over again.
All right, guys. Thank you very much. I hope this helps and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.